IHGN Studios. It's Raves Beat. Wait, you're an anchor this week too? Yeah, I heard Dylan got fired. Yeah, he's falling off pretty hard. Anyways, welcome to our second episode of Braves Beat this season. I'm Abe Hayes. And I'm Hayden Wentz. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. Ceremonial groundbreaking for the construction of the new Indian Hill Middle School building was this past Tuesday, August 31st. The ceremony was followed by the demo raffle ticket winners. Check out this clip. Yesterday, we were here for a historic event. The band was playing, we had all of our community partners, our Board of Education were members, and our brave students as we began to kick off the historic groundbreaking for the next phase of our facilities project. We're gonna be knocking down the old middle school and we're gonna be building our brave future. And I'm gonna be sharing with you every month updates as we go through this facilities project that is uniquely Indian Hill. Looks like the winners had some Fun knocking out those old bricks. Attention all students. Did you know that a massive earthquake struck Haiti on Saturday, August 14th? It was a 7.2 magnitude quake, stronger than the devastation in 10 years ago. Madame Glass and Madame Zisler are collecting relief items. We need cases of bottled water, personal care products, first aid items, and more. A full list of the needed items can be found on the bin outside of Madame Glass's classroom, room 214 in the English hallway. Premier's favorite, Gino Cardosi, had the chance to interview Miss Clark. Let's check it out. Good morning, Indian Hill. I'm here with Miss Clark, who's new to our Indian Hill School District. Miss Clark, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? All right, and so we just want to know a little bit about you. So where are you originally from? I'm originally from Akron, Ohio, which is about three and a half hours north. Right. And uh, where did you teach before you came here? So I have been kind of all over, but my most recent uh, school was Ursuline Academy up in Blue Ash. Uh -huh. And uh, what made you want to come to Indian Hill? So I've seen a couple of the uh, powwow shows in the past, and I also work at Indian Hill Church, which is just down the road. And a lot of my students um, also attend the school district. And when this opportunity arose to have this job, I was like, yes, please. I love the arts and the ability to kind of celebrate the arts and celebrate students sounded like the perfect opportunity for me. And uh, what are you doing here at Indian Hill? I'm officially, my official title is the District Arts and Activities Director, which basically means to celebrate the arts, talk about all the amazing things that the arts are doing. So performing arts, visual arts, and digital art, all the different arts ac across the entire school district. All right. And uh, what do you think of Indian Hill so far as you've been here? Oh, I love Indian Hill. The energy of the students, the phenomenal staff. Um, I just feel so grateful and so lucky to be a part of the district. And I just can't wait to see all the amazing things that everyone has to offer. Right. Even more than I've already seen. <laughs> all right, fantastic. And, uh... Thanks, Gino. Miss Clark is giving Braves Beat some nice support too. Check out her Twitter account. Outstanding. Next Thursday, September 9th, we will be holding our annual activities fair. There will be a crowd favorites there featuring Red Cross, FCA, Robotics Club, Kids Fed, JSA, and my personal favorite, Ultimate Frisbee. We can't, see, we can't wait to see all of you there. September is Suicide Prevention Month, and Suicide Prevention Week is next week from September 5th through the 11th. So if you know someone in crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK, or text the Crisis Text Line, text HELLO to 741-741. Both services are free and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All calls are confidential. Contact social media outlets directly if you are concerned about a friend's social media updates, or dial 911 in an emergency. Learn more on the Lifeline's website or Crisis Text Line's website. The link is listed in the description. Reese was able to grab an interview with one of our very own engineering teachers, Ms. Smith, about her recent recognition. Let's check it out. Hello, Braves. I'm here today with our very own Ms. Smith, who was just recognized as a PLTW Outstanding Teacher of the Year for 2021-2022. So, when did you hear of this great news? It was at the end of the summer. I was checking my email and there was a congratulations letter. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So how do they select these teachers for recognition? Well, last spring, our program was recognized as being distinguished. And from the application of the distinguished schools, they selected teachers out of that list. Wow, that's, that's a huge deal. So is there anything else that you would like the viewers to know? Or is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, we're very fortunate to have the Project Lead the Way program here at Indian Hill. And I am honored to get to teach it. So if you have an interest in engineering or STEM, it would be a great program for you to take advantage of. Wow, okay. Well, thank you for taking your time to speak with me today. And from all of us here at Braves Week, congratulations 
on this er well-earned recognition. Thank now, you. back to the news desk. Thank you. This is such great news. Congratulations, Miss Smith. Auditions for the fall musical Little Women will be September 7th and 8th from 2.45 to 4.30 in the choir room. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Miss Thomas or check Canvas for more details. Luke Sherman had a chance to speak to our new PE teacher, Mr. Starkey. Let's check it out. I'm here with the new gym teacher at Indian Hill High School, Mr. Starkey. Mr. Starkey, what brought you to Indian Hill? Uh, I think just the reputation of the school in general, the community, and the district in general. What stands out about Indian Hill so far? Uh, again, that community uh, of the, my co-teachers, people I work with, um, and the students are, are exceptional. Well, thank you. Why should people take your gym classes? Um, my outdoor ed class is probably one of the greatest classes you could take just with all the field trips and the fun we're going to have. Um, I'm shocked that they offer it and just to, they, to have kids have the opportunity to do some of the, the canoeing, the fishing, rock climbing, uh, you name it. So it's just a, it's a lot of fun. So. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Starkey. Make sure to give him a warm welcome, Braves. Thanks, Luke and Mr. Starkey. Epic report! Sophomores, you deserve a party. Since we never got to celebrate your 8th grade graduation, please come out and join your fellow classmates for some fun and food at 50 West. Tomorrow, noon till 3. Enjoy free food and drinks, volleyball, trivia, cornhole, and more. Even prizes. With the chance to win $50 cash. Sign up at Canvas in the link in the description. Braves beat favorites, Garrett and Andrew, have our sports report for us this week. Let's check it out. Thanks, Abe and Hayden. I'm Garrett McClung. And I'm Andrew Boyke with this week's sport report. Now on to cross country. Our boys and girls cross country team opened up their season last Saturday in the OHSAA preseason invitational. Our both teams traveled to the Northmont Invitational this Saturday, the 28th. And Hayden Withers finished eighth out of 268 runners. Wow. And the girls team finished 10th out of 28 teams. Nice way to start the season. Absolutely. Let's talk about field hockey. Our ladies had their game at versus Ursuline canceled due to weather last Thursday night. Our ladies played on Saturday at Hillard Lennox and secured the dub 2-0. Emily Eckert scored both goals for the Lady Braves. Way to go, Emily. And now on to football. The Braves traveled to Northwest Friday night. They fell to the Knights 34-21. A few unforced hurt that blew us back 27-0, but we made the game and came back. The team plays again at home against Taft. The theme of the game will be camo. It should be a good game. Now to girls tennis. Our Lady Braves had a match at Oakwood High School and won the match 3-0. to zero. That's super. Yeah. Switching over to girls volleyball, the girls played at Day Dayton Christian High School. The team played a solid match but lost 3-0. to zero. The team plays Marymount tonight and Saturday at noon. Come out and support your Braves. Now on to boys soccer. The soccer team traveled all the way to Dayton Carroll this past Saturday. It was a physically hard fought game between the both teams. Both teams in the end couldn't find the net and the game ended in a 0-0 draw, making the Braves 3-0-1. Now for our Lady Braves. The Lady Braves traveled to Ross last yes. Friday night and played a hard fought game. The game also ended 0-0 draw. The girls played this Wednesday, but too late for this report. Check the athletics website for results. Well, that's all we have for the sports this week. I'm Andrew Boyke. And I'm Riley Jefferson. Zooey mama. Man, aren't those two just so neat and epic and totally awesome? Dude, calm down. Sorry. Seriously. I'm just so excited. A dude excited for some sports. Whatever. <laughs> Don't forget to sleep in tomorrow. No school for students. Have fun teachers in your training day. I know I'm going to get some extra sleep tomorrow, and Monday is Labor Day, so we get another day of rest. But let's remember to honor all of the workers who make our country great. Thanks for all of your hard work. So, be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, both stay classy, Indian Hill. Hey Braves, let's try to do it again, but this time we're doing the B team on Braves Beat. So uh, let's get started. So uh, what makes you qualified to work here at Braves Beat? Nothing. Nothing at all? No, absolutely nothing. I'm a senior. I'm taking this class. You're just gonna, for the, are you going to be credit. adding anything? Um, I might, I might add um, some, like, things. Maybe. Maybe? What does that mean? Um, probably, you know, things to do with Braves beat. What does that mean? Like, uh, 
I don't have any prior experience. Why are you here? Because uh, I couldn't fit any other classes into my schedule. So are you going to be helping at all? You're asking too many questions. What does that mean? Hayden! 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 What have you done for this class? Nothing so far. <laughs> Nothing. It's been two weeks. Why are you here? I needed a spot to fill in my schedule. Okay. Okay. Griffin, 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 no, Griffin, Griffin.